And let me tell you a story. This is the story of a little Utah-based sleeping pad manufacturer. And they made pads mostly for through hiking and backpacking. But they were ambitious and they had dreams of making a bigger pad, a more comfortable pad. And so they did. That little company made a pad so comfortable that I'm compelled to tell you this story. In fact, it was so comfortable that I think it's the most comfortable sleeping pad in the world. But all was not well for that little Utah-based company, for they made a fatal mistake. Hello and welcome to the channel Drew. I'm Drew and this is the Drew Review. Today we're talking sleeping pads. More specifically, the Climate, Climaloft Regular, and Double. This one's a doozy. There's a lot to get into, so let's take a look. First off, let's talk SKUs. It comes in three sizes, the Regular, the XL, and the Double. I went out and I got the Regular and I got the Double. So I have the smallest and then the largest pad that will be looked. The Regular is pretty much normal sleeping pad dimensions, basically what you'd expect. Uh, the XL is considerably wider, thicker, and a little bit longer, and seems like a really good option for larger people. And the double, like it sounds, is huge. It's uh, really geared towards like couples or multiple people sleeping on it. And it is in fact the same size as a queen mattress. Not quite as thick, but arguably more comfortable. I personally like to sleep on my double as a single and man is that luxurious. So these pads all have horizontal air chambers that kind of keeps it more stable. If you've slept on older inflatables, they're not as as well chambered, I guess is the way to say it, and they kind of push against you and they don't really um, conform to your body like a, a normal mattress would. Those chambers are really no different than any other modern inflatable sleeping pad. And the real, the real kicker, the real difference maker, is the foam layer on top. As you can see, the foam only covers about the top two-thirds of the mattress, leaving a non-foam layer where your feet are. I was a bit apprehensive about that at first because I wasn't sure if it would be weird having a different texture for my feet versus for my upper body, but it ended up not being an issue at all, and it makes it much easier to pack than it would have foam with the whole way. Speaking of packing, these pads are definitely built for comfort. Comfort first, everything else second. The R value isn't super high either, but it should be plenty insulated if you have a normal mummy bag without a, and not a quilt bag without a back. The pads aren't crazy heavy, but they're definitely not a through hiker geared bag. Honestly, the extra weight is something I wouldn't mind if I was backpacking for the comfort, but some people who are really counting ounces definitely won't want it. When they're rolled up, they definitely take up more space than an inflatable without a foam top. It does really add to it. This regular one is meant to be folded in half, but I kind of like the way it packs in my bag vertically. It can just slide in a little slot as it's a lot thinner. This double is rolled in half, and this is as tight and as small as you can get this thing. So it's going to be big, but if you look at it from a lens of old school backpacking and hiking, this doesn't take up really any more room than just an old foam pad, although it is significantly heavier at six pounds. So the little foam layer on top, it's, it's quite thin, and it honestly doesn't seem like it would do much, but it really adds a ton of comfort to the pads, especially on the double where it is, in fact, thicker foam. Almost every single person who's laid down on my double pad has said it is the most comfortable pad they've ever slept on. A really soft microfiber, like, fabric and it's really really nice on the skin if it's hot out and you aren't totally wrapped in your bag it's quite comfortable and it also cuts down on the noise that your pad makes when it rubs against your bag which is a nice little bone personally i choose to put a sheet down because i like the way it feels and the foam topper can get a little gross and greasy it also has a tendency to get wet and it's quite hard to dry out because the foam is essentially a sponge. So if you are going to get this one, try and keep it dry. When it comes to the climb aloft, comfort is king. Speaking of royalty, the double is literally the same size as a queen. So there's plenty of room for activities and plenty of room for sleeping. I've sung the praises of the climb aloft enough. It's time to discuss that fatal flaw I mentioned in the intro. I would recommend this pad to absolutely everyone, but I can't because it's valve. It's so bad, it's hard to even describe, but I'm going to try my best. 
So the first thing is it's tiny, really small opening for air to go through. So that just physically limits the amount of air that you can get in or out of your pad. On top of that, if you already use something like a pump, it's loud. It sounds like a dying goose if you pump with any force at all. It's horrible when you have a nice serene night and you go to blow up your pad and it's just Everyone around is distracted and they'll make fun of you and it's unpleasant and you have to pump slower so you don't get that kind of loud honking. And it also has the stupid flip around technology thing where one side inflates and the other side deflates. And when I first saw it, I thought like, hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. But after having used it, it's basically just over-engineered and it doesn't work that well. And as I alluded to before, the flip around valve thing doesn't seal perfectly. So the valve itself doesn't actually hold air. It's not airtight. You need the little cap to go above the valve to hold all the air. So I've actually had issues with that, with that not sealing correctly. And then waking up and my hip being on the ground because the pad's mostly deflated over the course of the night. My other grief with the pad is that the valve is on the bottom of it, which seems better for comfort but it makes it way harder to blow up because then you have to flip it around, especially if you're in a tent. And especially if you have the double in a tent because the double's huge and it's really hard to flip around. So that became a bit of an issue as I used it more. The upside down valve is also, makes it quite a bit harder to deflate. You kind of have to flip it over and fold it. Um, I, would, I would just prefer if it was on the top or, or on the edge, honestly, it would be a lot easier. And then the deflation of the valve itself with the limited amount of air just isn't that good either. I generally leave the pad and I open it and deflate it and I leave it. And then I come back like half an hour later and then I roll it up and there's still a lot of air in it. It, it doesn't like to let go of its air. In fact, the valve was so bad in all ways that I was tempted to buy Climate's $60 little electric air pump thinking that would maybe solve my, my woes with this pad and that the top would fit perfectly and everything would be good. But I'm just gonna tell you that wasn't the case. But I am gonna do a real short review on that, so subscribe if you wanna see that. Admittedly, with the regular size pad, all these valve issues were much less of an issue just because the volume of air is so much smaller than it was in the, in the big, the double pad. But as you can see, compared to this big Agnes pad with a much larger volume, it took almost twice as many pumps with a big barrel pump to blow it up. I also did some testing uh, with my mouth, the Climaloft blower, and a big barrel pump to see how long it took to blow up the pads respectively. And I'll, I'll just show the results right now and I'll put the times up on screen. As you can see, the difference on the regular size pad is not that huge but it's definitely not a quick, easy pad to blow up. But on the double, it is fucking ridiculous. It takes so long to blow it up. It makes setting it up like almost not even worth the comfort. And because the double is so difficult, it almost forces you to buy their little blower thing. I personally prefer the barrel pump, which is also loud. Sounds like a shrieking goose. And God forbid if you have to blow it up with your own mouth, you're gonna probably pass out just because of how long it's gonna take. If you do have to blow it up with your mouth though, I designed a little adapter that works with the, uh, with the blower, but it's also way easier to use your mouth on that. It's like using a straw versus having to make out with the valve. I'll put the link to the STL in the video description. When I am on the river and I have to blow this up, my friends just laugh and make jokes the whole time. And then they get bored because it takes so damn long to blow the pad up and then they leave. And I'm still blowing the pad up, and there's still a faint shriek of a goose in the background. It is ridiculous. I, it's hard to fathom that Climate could have built such a good pad and then just put the world's worst inflatable valve on there and just kind of ruined the whole thing. And my friends who have done these trips with have, have laid on the pad and admitted that it's pretty much the most comfortable pad they've ever been on, but they, they don't want it. They've seen me struggle with blowing it up and putting it down and packing it, and they don't think it's worth the effort. So, I mean, I'm going to let you make up your own mind. Personally, I do think it's worth the effort, but 
especially for the single, but for the double, maybe not. But I can rest easy, literally, knowing that after my ordeal of getting the pad set up, I will be the most comfortable one that night. Bonus tip, if you are getting the double, make sure your tent is big enough. It is big enough that it fits in very few two-person tents. And honestly, three-person tents might be a little tough too. You gotta make sure it's square-shaped. If you have a tapered tent, it probably won't fit. So really double check the dimensions before you get the double. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will respond. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'm also giving away two Yeti brick bottle openers, which are kind of silly, but also kind of awesome. So check out my Yeti brick giveaway and review video if you want to get one of those.